If Derby Fair is what you're after, you've come to the right place. There's nothing quite like the passion and the history of Inter against Milan, this huge city derby. Stay tuned for all the live action next on EA TV. And we have Derby Fair on the menu today, and we never tire of bringing you this fixture, the Nerazzurri against the Rossoneri. My name is Derek Ray, and alongside me here in the commentary position is Stuart Robson. Stuart, a lot to look forward to here. Well, Derek, this is Italian football at its very best. Great atmosphere, two teams with a wonderful history and a big rivalry. This should be good today. Here's the Milan team. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Vrij in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And the game begins. stop them in their tracks Dzeko wonderfully weighted pass Martinez Perisic oh good work by the keeper Fancy a short one. Electing to cross into the centre. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And cuts inside. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. This attack looks highly promising. Cross could be useful. The clearance wasn't decisive. Brilliantly blocked. Not every team needs an effective and proficient leader of the line, and Olivier Giroud falls in that category. Stuart, what should we look forward to seeing from him today? Well, Derek, in the last game, he was absolutely outstanding. It wasn't just the two goals that he scored, but it was his general play, his link-up play, his ability to run beyond defenders, his ability on the ball to create. Well, I think we're going to see more of the same today. Diaz. Can he put them in front? Oh, no! and they remain level well he just lacked composure there didn't he they should be ahead now
Chalanolu. Now Dzeko. Barella. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, a goal! There it is! And the crowd stunned into silence! Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So Milan get the ball moving once more. How will they react? Brahim. Rafael Leao. Teo Hernandez. Can they make one of these passes count? Losing possession here. Brozovic. Barella. An effective ball. Dumfries. A chance to whip it in. Taking care of business defensively here. Giroud. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Rafael Leao. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Cassier. Now with Giroud. Diaz. That's a useful cross. Struggling to get it away. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, as you can see, Inter had much less of the ball, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Brozovic. It's with Chalanolu. Barella. It's very pleasing on the eye, this attack, which goes through Perisic. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Brahim. Sandro Tonali. Given away by Milan. Alessandro Bastoni. Brozovic. Dzeko. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Brozovic, now Dzeko, Alessandro Bastoni, Barella, Chalanolu. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Chalanolu. Now Perisic, and the cross goes in. It might still be problematic. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Edin Dzeko has played at such a high level for so many years. Is he stamping his authority on the game the way you thought he would? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. 
Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So the second half underway, and Inter looking to build upon a largely positive first-half performance. Dumfries. Barella has it. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Can he play it in? Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Dumfries. Went in strongly, decisively. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. Chalanolu. That deep delivery. And a struggle to get it away properly. Chalanolu. No way through. Calabria. He's enjoying space. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. And deep into the penalty area. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Who can they pick out? Kessier. Now they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Dumfries. Barella has it. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. This looks promising. Kessier. Ibrahimovic! Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. The referee had to be mindful of what was going on, the injury situation, and hence he has stopped play. of a drop ball Ivan Perisic Barella has it and snuffing out the danger well what a dramatic finish we could have here these Milan fans are ramping up the atmosphere now well read to put an end to that attack. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser.
Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Martinez. Barella. And it's with Dumfries. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? And the keeper taking care of the situation. Rebic. Calabria. Rebic has it. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Milan still going forward as the minutes tick away. Even Steven. But they took care of the situation defensively. Dzeko. Good work from the Rossoneri to win the ball back. Intercepting it intelligently. Five minutes left. I'm trying to switch the play, but he overhit it. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Calabria. Sandro Tonali. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Vecino. Brozovic. Vecino on the ball. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. And he saw the situation developing. Rafael Leao. Kessier has it. Milan still on the attack and the game's waning moments. Still level. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes here. Martinez. Oh, good work by the keeper. Diaz. Can he put them in front? Oh, no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They sh Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And the crowd stunned into silence. Well read to put an end to that attack. Oh, he's given it away inexplicably. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser!